So let's implement traffic ingress controller on Kubernetes cluster. We have the Kubernetes cluster ready. Okay. Let's check cluster is ready. Cluster is in a ready state. We have the, some instructions. Okay. So we are going to configure traffic ingress controller using the Helm 3. Okay. Let's install Helm 3 on Kubernetes Corpse cluster. Let's download the Helm 3. Script on Kubernetes cluster. Change the permission. Let's then help script. Let's check the helm version. Command is helm hyphen space version. Let's add the traffic ingress helm charts. So you can go to the official traffic documentation and you can find the latest helm chart for the traffic. This is official traffic ingress official site. Here you can go either GitHub page or this traffic site. Here is the requirement. We need a track Kubernetes 1.14 plus version and helm 3 is installed. Here you can find the latest helm chart for the traffic ingress controller and also instruction is also given okay so also you can find officially traffic github page and you can find the instruction to install okay. so let's add the traffic help chart repository Command is helm repo add traffic and traffic repo. Traffic has been added to your repository. Next, update the Helm repo. Helm repo updated. Let's install the Helm. Let's install the traffic. Helm chart using the Helm. Come on, this Helm install traffic. There is some warnings. So for as per the Kubernetes version. Okay. So here we have the instruction name is traffic. Deployed date namespace default status is deployed okay. let's clear the screen so let's check the port it created the ports for the traffic it is running let's check the deploy the deployment also running let's check the service so when we deploy the traffic using Helm, it creates the pod deployment service. A service is created, type is load balancer, and we got the AWS load balancer URL. Okay. 
let's create the sample application for the Nginx and for the Node.js. Okay. Let's create the Nginx deployment. Let's create the Nginx app service. Let's deploy the Nginx app deployment and service. Command is kubectl create hyphen f deployment name. Same for service. Let's create a one more Node.js app deployment. Copy this deployment. Here we have added the our sample Node.js application AWS ECR tag image. Let's create a service for Node.js. Let's deploy the Node.js deployment. And service also. So we have to create next step. We have to create traffic increase resource where we add the our service name sport number path to expose the app over the internet let's create the traffic ingress resources So, kind is ingress, name is traffic ingress, namespace is default. Here we have the ingress class traffic. Now we have SSL is false. We are exposing our app using the AT port host. Is, this is my first application host name and Genix app domain name. Then service should match. So as we deploy the deployment and service, port is 80. This is another application for Node.js domain name, then service service name port 80. So we have added the two microservices in a traffic ingress resource. Let's apply traffic ingress resource. Ingress resource is created. Let's check the port. Okay, ports are running. Let's check deployment. Let's check service. And service is also running. Let's check ingress. Kubectl command is kubectl create in this. English is also running. Name is traffic ingress. Now we have added the two microservices. So we have to add this. It created the traffic load balance URL. We have to copy this URL. Go to your domain name provided. We have the GoDaddy. Click on Add Records. Select C name. Let's create a Nginx app. 
on the load balancer url as a c name the term custom set the 600 second that is one minute add one more c name record for the node js app Go to the browser. Let's access our microservices using the domain name. Okay, Nginx app is running. Let's access Node.js app. Node.js is also running. Okay. In traffic ingress controller, the traffic ingress provides the dashboards for the microservices. Okay. To deploy the microservice, to access the traffic dashboards, so we have to, there are many ways to access traffic dashboards. So one more way to is to expose the traffic pod okay on the management node okay so or any nodes with the master or worker node here we have the management node for the pops so let's forward the port forward of the traffic pod that is created by the traffic ingress and using the address any any address port 9000 Still get ports. Traffic port is created. So let's let's forward port. Command is kubectl port forward. Select it. Select the traffic port. So to any address on port nine thousand. Port is forwarded. So let's copy the management node IP address. Go to the browser. Port is 9000 slash dashboard. So traffic provides the dashboards for microservice. So here we can see that traffic dashboard. So current version is 2.4.8. Okay. So here it will show the routers, services, middlewares. Okay. Let's go to the services. Here we can see that our Node.js app exposed on port 80 and deployed our Kubernetes type is a load balancer. Servers is one and provider is a Kubernetes. Okay. So where we deployed our microservices, it is showing provider. Okay. So we can click on this also to get more details. It has us on the UR internet port, IP address, and port 80. It is show the all the information entry point, web secure name, service provider, all the details. So, so this is a additional feature of traffic ingress control. Okay. So, Nginx we don't have the dashboards, but in traffic we have the dashboard to see the all the microservice status, all these things. Okay. If you get any errors, warnings or we can see in a traffic dashboards. Okay.